Hey, this is Julie Larson with DivasMobileSolutions.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I was able to get my picture to show up in the search results next to my blog post. And I'm going to show you the steps that I took to be able to do this. This is actually called um, REL equals author or you might hear it as Google Authorship or you might hear it as author rich snippets whatever they call it essentially what you end up having is your picture here which makes your blog post stand out when you see compared to this one and this one here so let me go ahead and first of all show you where it is on my blog post so I'm gonna click there to the link and when you scroll down I add it to the bottom of all my blog posts now so I just add this little line right here and within that line this is a hyperlink to the code and if you look at the bottom left side of the screen you'll see the hyperlink where it's taken them to which is actually my Google Plus profile so the very first step that you're gonna take is you're gonna to go to your Google Plus profile make sure that it's completed as much as possible and at the very least you're gonna to need to have a picture there once you're there you can edit your profile and then you're gonna scroll down to where it says contributor to and this is where you're gonna list the websites your blogs or your websites that you contribute blog posts to so as you can see I've already added Divas Mobile Solutions and then I'm a contributor on these other sites here too once you're there to get those custom links you click on add custom links and then you're gonna type the name of the site so this one if I were gonna be adding it again would be Divas Mobile Solutions and then I would put in the link to Divas Mobile Solutions here. But since I've already got it up there, I'm not going to do that. And then once you've added it, you're going to save it. And then you're going to click on Done Editing. All right, so that is the first step. Now, once you've got your profile completed the way that you want it with all your information and everything, and of course your image you're gonna go up to the URL address bar and you're gonna highlight it and then you're gonna right click and copy and now I'm gonna take you over to uh, the blog post, the actual blog post that I showed you earlier and you'll see when I scroll down right here is where I've typed in more about Julie Larson on Google Plus and that's where I've put the code in and so if we toggle over here to the HTML you'll see here's the actual code alright and what I've done is I've pasted in my Google Plus account information so I've pasted in the account information and then I've added that question mark REL equals author and I'll be sure to include the this code here for you so in my post so that you can copy and paste it into yours only you'd replace your Google Plus information and then you'd replace your text here so once you've got it added there now whenever you do any other blog posts you're just gonna copy it from one of your previous ones and if I want to do another blog post I'll just include that at the bottom I'll right click and paste it okay so I've already got it there and then I would just start you know typing my blog post now there's another step that you're going to want to take and what you're going to do is you're going to grab the link from the blog post that you just added it to and in this case I'm going to grab the link to the one I've already posted and then you can go over to the Google Webmaster Tools Rich Snippets Testing Tool 
and you can put in your blog post link you can paste it in there and preview it and it, when you preview it if your picture is showing up it's this is going to show you how it shows up on Google and if your picture is showing up then you are successful it's not going to appear instantly however I actually started adding these to to the uh, blog posts that I've done on a Friday morning and um, sent you know I made sure that it was all good that it was showing up correctly but it didn't actually show up in the search engines until the following Monday so it took about three or four days for it to start working but it is working now it's not showing up on all of my blog posts but I imagine that's because it takes a little bit of time for Google to recrawl all of the blog posts that I had that I didn't have it on originally so I hope that was helpful if you have any questions or anything don't hesitate to contact me and um, I also know that there are other ways to do this this one was just really easy and it did not require adding another plugin to my site there are plugins that you can that will do this for you but this was as easy f for me um, than having to add another plugin so hope this was helpful thank you bye bye